Hello, everybody. That's right. We're doing it. It's the part two finale of Clayton Eckerd's season of The Bachelor. Tonight, our final trailer. The final, I believe the final trailer. You know, ABC, Bachelor, they release uh, dozens of trailers per episode, but there's only one storyline left. Who does Clayton pick? Now, we've got Susie in the trailer. This isn't a spoiler because they put her in the trailer. She says, I felt like a stray dog. How do you think we feel? We feel like wet dogs out here. Speaking of wet dogs, do me a fa- there's no speaking of wet dogs. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram at dneals. We are limping to the finish line of a very wild season. Now, some people go, oh my gosh, this season, it's been so boring. Are you not watching the same show I'm watching? This has been fascinating. We've got a guy who says he's in love with three women. Two of them he slept with. The other one doesn't want to pursue a relationship with him because of the aforementioned pumping of the palmers. As is, uh, as is ceremoniously done during the fantasy suites with consent sometimes, although Susie's in a right to say she doesn't want to do that. But we're all watching this with different um, perspectives. There's a lot of people that are just saying, all these women are so much better off being without Clayton, but will he choose one? And what will Bachelor Nation do if one of the women stays with him? Will they just change their tune and be like, well, trust the process. You know, what the hell's going down? Someone had commented, I don't know why I'm so invested in this hot mess. Well, it's time in the game, right? We watched the whole season for this payoff. You watch the dumb episodes, the Shanae fights, the Cassidy this, the uh, Genevieve getting thrown over the waterfall. We watch all that baloney so we can get to this final part. So let's get into it. If you want to join me, you can watch on Patreon and catch all the private behind-the-scenes live streams, patreon.com slash Dave Neal, patreon.com slash D-A-V-E-N-E-A-L, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and... Hit the like button an odd number of times. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it, folks. So this is probably the last trailer. It was posted this morning, and it shows Susie. So let's watch. I can't stop thinking about Susie and what we had. Is there any way you can give me a second chance? I felt like a stray dog. I'm so humiliated. I still have two women here. I love you. (laughs) I do love you. Yeah, right. I realize it's not possible for me to be in love with three women. You sound actually ridiculous. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I could be left with nothing. Clay-tastrophe. All right, we'll play the second. We're going to play the second part in a minute here. They called it a clay catastrophe. We'll get to some audience responses. What Blake thought of last night's episode. What Natasha thought, and Ari, what he has to say about it. He's been in a similar situation before. So, lot to get into here. But we just watched um, uh, Susie say she feels like a stray dog. And I have to tell you, I would love to watch The Bachelor a dog adoption show where somebody goes into a pound and finds 30 dogs and ends up with one. Although how hard for it. It's one thing if it's like, all right, no love for Shanae, but imagine some little, you know, Chihuahua, you know, doesn't get chosen. And then it's just got to go back to its crate. Uh, that's actually sounds very heartbreaking. Everyone should adopt animals. Don't go, don't buy them from Petco. Uh, you know, uh, whatever rescue, whatever, whatever you need to say to make you feel good. Do you rescue a dog? We need to rescue Clayton at the end of this thing. Let me tell you something. He's going to be in, uh, uh, in trouble uh, or not. We'll have to see how it ends. Um, you know, I think he's taking a social media holiday as they say, but, uh, fascinating. So he, you know, well, let's just real quick watch this beginning one more time because he said, look, he couldn't stop thinking of Susie and don't get me wrong. He'll pay whatever social price there is to the, for the collateral damage. If he ends up with one and not the other two. Absolutely. But, If he does end up with Susie, after following her, when everyone told him not to, there's kind of something, I don't know, romantic about that, right? It's almost like, and you guys know this is hard to say, it's almost like what Ari did was romantic. Oh, we're triggering people. Hold on. Let's ask the Patreon chat. Was it romantic of Ari? And you know, I'm the first to criticize his PPP loans and his kind of like, uh, you know, snooty, whatever, you know, son of a racer personality here is, uh, you know, platinum hair, whatever. But, uh, you know, that real that big real estate energy he's got going on. But was it romantic for Ari to pursue the love, even if he had to sort of take the ring back from Becca. That happened, folks. So we'll get into it. Let's actually, we'll, we'll play the clip that we shared yesterday of all of the instances in Bachelor Nation where this has happened in the past because we've got a few moments where this has happened where we've had 
uh, the old the old take back, you know, if you will. So here was yes, this was yesterday's, right? Uh, oh, sorry, this is t hold on one second. Uh, yesterday's boy, we have so much content to get through. Um, Everything that, that was last night, and then uh, I don't know if I can find love. I found it with you, but I found it with somebody else more. Show us how you marry me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Do you want to be back with her? And do you want to be back with her? And then watch Becca's face. I want to see if there's that possibility. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you are really after I blew you in a yurt? Are you serious? Or whatever they did. Uh, so obviously, uh, you know, there's a love element to it because he ends up having kids and a wife and Lauren and whatever. They reproposed. They're buying avocados in Hawaii. They're doing the whole thing, right? That's what you do. That's what you look forward to in a relationship. I want to spend the rest of my life with somebody who's going to argue with me in the produce section. Honey, we don't need organic kale. It's expensive enough. Anyway, so <laughs> crack myself up. Dave, why are you yelling? You're aggressive. So, uh, Will... Clayton be received well if he does follow his heart, even if it led him to uh, the other damaging aspects of heartbreak. We'll have to see. Here's Ari watching last night's episode back. Yikes is all I'm going to say. We don't watch this. <laughs> What'd you ask me? I'm just trolling him really yeah. hard right now. <laughs> like, can you be in love with two people at the same time? And I was like, on The Bachelor, yes. We work together to create I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I was asking you. I said, can you be in love with two people at the same time? Like, you can be in love with two people, see your life in one direction, see it go in another direction yeah. at the same time. And he said, yes. And he said, yeah, you could really go either way. And I'm like, really? Either way? Either way. Hmm? <laughs> this is why we don't watch this. Maybe this is just your problem. Maybe um, it's not everyone's problem. I'm already hot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, look, here's the thing. It's another example of not needing full transparency. Lauren asked him a question. He answered honestly, and now they're fighting over it. Yes, Ari, some people can find love in a hopeless place, right? Some people can find love. And then I get that song stuck in your head. Some people can find love in different directions. Ari found it in one way or another with Becca, realized that he wanted it here, and then he ended up pursuing this. Is that to say that Ari and Becca might not have worked out? The hell who the hell am I to know? Who the hell am I to know? Could Clayton work out with any three of those women? I don't know. You tell me. Let's watch the second of those two trailers. This was posted today. I believe you. I actually don't know who you are at all. I got some news that's gonna change everything for you. I know that tonight could be the end of this whole thing for me. I loved uh, Jesse Palmer. He talks as he's exhaling. He goes, I got some news that could change everything for you. I love it. We love it. Let Jesse Palmer be the one who breaks the news to me. Hey, Dave, guess what? Your health insurance is going to cost you a lot of money. But you can save 15% if you switch the guy. Okay. Um, so let's see some reactions of people uh, that watched last night's Sob Fest. Here's Blake. It kind of sounds like he's watching porn at first. Rough. So you want to be the bachelor. <laughs> oh, great button. We call that a button in comedy when it's the last thing, you know, the old, the old, um, in a marching band, it's called the, uh, the Sousa, it's called the, you know, the dun, 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 bomb, right? What, what's that called? The Sousa punch, whatever, whatever it is. Either way, we call that the button there in comedy. Very, so you want to be bachelor cut funny fade to black. Love it. All right. Natasha Parker. Oh, are y'all serious? Yep. Sadly. Can they hear her crying right now? They sure can. Can they hear her? Yes, ma'am. Are they just having a conversation and they can hear her? I need to know. Crying. I hate that. It kills me to see this. Like they couldn't even look at me. So my thoughts on the production is that they could hear her crying, but that they boosted the audio. Um, 
you know, uh, when they're filming something, it's quiet on set. The whole set is quiet. If you're in some sort of marbled place or cement, I mean, super, super heavy on the, uh, or, or lack of acoustics, right? There, if, if they were in somewhere like an, an old, an old castle and they had the red drapes and the nice rugs, that would, that would be sound treated. That would, that would stop the echo. They're essentially in a giant bathtub right now. So if she's like, <laughs> that sound is going to travel very far. So they still have to have their conversation. It's just like, hey, can you keep it down in there? Just hold the... I'm trying to talk to Jesse. I love both these women. I know it sounds ridiculous. Uh, but I can't understand it. And I couldn't understand it. You can't understand it. So you go through it. Everyone's like, I want a man who's honest. There he is, folks. Again, I understand the situation's a little more complicated than that, but we're uh, we're trying. You know, there's Natasha there. Natasha is the mood that we all shared last night. <laughs> Bachelorette. Natasha for Bachelorette. Uh, I can't even speak. She'd be Y'all, great. Gabby about to come for his head. Oh, you see her? Her hands are crossed. I love Natasha. This is impossible. Nice house. She's got nice exposed beams. Like a good exposed beam. Someone's making something in the microwave. When he said a different love, it's a different love with them and you, like, well, is that supposed to be comforting? Because, like, I don't even know, like, how do you? I think saying a different love is comforting. Like, look, who are we to tell somebody else how they feel? I can't tell you how many people in the comment section says, well, you can love multiple people, but you can only be in love with one. Listen there, uh, Tracy. Who's, who are you to tell someone else what they feel? You know what I mean? Like, who knows? Maybe, maybe you can love multiple things for multiple reasons. Is it comforting? Well, it's not the most comforting, but it might say, hey, I love you all in different ways. It's like oh, what a, you know, your mom says to you going, I love all my kids equally. Well, we know you don't like, uh, you know, Jimmy. We know Jimmy's, uh, J- Jimmy's a, uh, the worst son. He's, he's an idiot, right? Say that even. Gabby said no. Gabby said no. And she wearing that dress though. She said no. Let me tell you, her walking down them stairs with that slick on here, girl. <laughs> Natasha, the winner. He did not. He did. Yeah. You don't know though. He, but he thinks he does. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Hug her. Grab her. Something. Please. <laughs> let her go. <laughs> you gotta let her go. But here you go, right? You got show everyone. Hug her. Let her go. Pull her in close. Push her away. To walk out, do you want to give it another chance? Oh, tonight. She wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cleaned my phone, and um, I'm sorry, y'all. It was yeah. very blurry. But they gonna make her. What? Just walk up there and give her the damn rose. What? Why you gotta call her name again? Why are they doing this? Oh, so um, funny. Yeah. My yeah. plan is to only watch The Bachelor through Natasha's eyes from now on. She said, "Yeah, I guess." I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. We definitely don't have anything to hide now. Like he knows that I'm uncomfortable. You can make it through this. You can make it like, through anything. Is that is that the vibe? But like, as much as I've chosen to be here in the past, like I'm. I mean, I guess you're not gonna have no regrets. And like I no there regrets. There you go. No regrets. He changed her mind. He did. You know, I really love him. Slick. But I could like kick myself next week. So this is when they say love is a noun and a verb. <laughs> you feel it, and that's the noun part because it's a feeling, but then. The doing of it, what people do to show their love, to express their love. That's the verb part. I'm not getting verb from you, Clayton. Not getting it. Not feeling the verbs. Look at 
these beautiful boobs on my TV. Look how beautiful they are. They just gorgeous. I love the color scheme. Oh Lord, get ready. Clayton, Daddy, giving props. I was coming here today. I was really scared. All right, we can watch this all day long. I, I literally could watch Natasha all day long. All right, well, it looks like... Let me make sure we got to all of this. We got Ari, we got Natasha. Oh, this is our final final clip. This is what they didn't air from Gabby's bathroom scene. So it's only a 10 seconds here. Um, I, I didn't know if this was a joke or if this was real. There you go. A spell has been put on Clayton. He's being haunted. Haunt my like button. Hit it an odd number of times and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to have two live streams today. One hour before the East Coast episode. That's 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. Pacific. And then the epic after show live stream, 10 p.m. East Coast. We're going to be going live for four hours. East Coast, Central Time Zone, mountains for you, uh, you know, Coloradians. Is that how you say it? And then Pacific Time Zone. So we'll be there all night long. Uh, let me know. You can leave voicemails. You can call in. You can Skype. You can do it. I mean, not Skype. You can do. You can uh, send us a love letter. You can uh, tell us you love. Tell us you love us. You can uh, listen on my channel. We we love everybody, right? So we're gonna uh, we're gonna make it through this. Okay. Hope Clayton can say the same. Let me know what you guys think. We'll be back in a little bit. Bye, guys.